Beamish Two Buddies, this is Fever Farmstead. My name's Tyler. We have plenty of stuff to do today, so let's get after it. So last night, me and Sarah are sleeping. One o'clock in the morning, dead asleep. And bam! Got stung by a bee. What? Ow! Ow! Got stung by a bee. Ow! What the shit? Jump out of bed. There's a bee flying around where my pillow was, my head. <sighs> So I grab my phone and smash it on, smash it on the nightstand. Like what the crap? So this morning, my face hurts. I know you probably can't tell, but I'm swollen up a little bit. Uh, what a terrible, terrible way to be woken up. Terrible. So anyhow, we gotta go do chores. We got stuff to do today. I want to start putting in posts and stretching fence and I'd like to move the cows by the end of the week, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So, oh well. We're waiting for the Benadryl to kick in. I'm probably figuring I'm going to get a little uh, drowsy. Probably have to take a nap mid-morning, but oh well. We're going to get after it. We're going to get going, get some stuff done, <sighs> see what we can do today. <laughs> Uh, it, who would ever thought you'd get stung stung in the face by a bee at one o'clock in the morning laying in your own bed? But I guess it happens. It happened to me. <laughs> but before we do anything else, we got a whole pig feed. I'm out of pig feed again, so we still have a bunch in the shop. I got to order more, but let's get these pigs fed, and then we'll worry about doing other stuff today. Yet. Morning, pig. How you doing this morning, pig? You hungry? Yeah, beefy boy. Today is just one of those days I just, I don't feel like doing it. I, with getting crappy sleep, my face kind of hurts. Benadryl's kind of just eh, making me a little tired. We might have a hard time keeping ourselves motivated today. We're gonna try our best. Get these guys fed. They're ornery this morning. They sound hungry, so whatever. We're gonna keep on pushing as far as we can push. It's all we can try to do, anyhow. Well, all the chores are done. I think I'm gonna go uh, take a break in the house, make some phone calls. I gotta set up some uh, butcher appointments for these guys. They gotta go to freezer camp in November. So the last time I talked to my butcher was last fall. I haven't seen him for a while, so gotta tell him congratulations. And son got married this summer and you know, whole nine yards, catch up on, on everything. And then he's probably still thinking harvest time. He's, he's a full-time farmer, part-time butcher. So he's a busy man, busy, busy man. But anyhow, I'm gonna go make some phone calls. I gotta call the feed company. I gotta get some more feed order for the end of the week. Cause these suckers are just eating me out of house and home. I'm thinking about 
uh, getting another bucket or two buckets instead of feeding them right now i'm feeding them eight buckets a day four in the morning and four in the evening i'm thinking going to six six in the morning and six in the evening because these suckers are hungry and they're just cleaning it all up there is not any left you know between feedings there's none left they're 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 cleaning out so to me that's telling me i gotta feed them more uh they're definitely definitely starting to the one the one set is definitely starting to push push some weight they're getting big they're starting to look like nice feeder pigs some nice butcher hogs i'm kind of very happy with those pigs the other ones meh they're we definitely paid more for them than we did the other ones and yeah they're definitely a berkshire cross but i don't know i don't know what the big difference is they were supposed to be right around the same age when we got them but the one set is definitely packing on the pounds. Their, their feed conversion is quality, quality heritage pigs here. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of impressed, but we'll see. We'll see how they finish out. We'll see what they taste like. That's gonna be the big thing. Hopefully all my customers are happy. We sold, uh, I think we're at eight and a half pigs sold. So we did good this year. We definitely increased our our quantity from last year last year we only did three this year we did nine so we tripled it but it wasn't it wasn't unmanageable it wasn't any more work in my opinion you know still had to drag feed fill buckets it is what it is i i don't yeah i like raising pigs i don't think it's the most profitable business in the world unless you're doing straight to consumer you know in Pennsylvania, you have to USDA butcher, so that that is something we're thinking about. Be selling whole hogs, you know. Ah, profits just not there for me. Not for all the work it is. You know, you're spending. Just say you spend half hour a day feeding pigs. Half hour times seven, you know, times five six months. It's a lot of time and a lot of effort. Not for a whole lot of return, but. Right now it's just a hobby. I love doing it. I love I love seeing the pigs grow. I love feeding the pigs. So for right now it's a labor of love. And we're gonna continue doing it as a labor of love for now until we figure something else out. Oh well, I'm heading for the house. Let's go. Well, I just got off the phone with the local goat farmer who's got a pet food company and they are in the midst of a lawsuit right now so they have a freezer that is full of product that they cannot sell because the court deems it you know they're not allowed to sell nothing because it whatever i don't know so anyhow he has to get rid of some frozen goat milk uh he is not selling it to me he is giving it to me legally he cannot sell it so we're gonna feed it to the pigs it's a bunch of frozen goat milk he doesn't know what to do with it. Uh, he, like I said, Ill illegally, he's not allowed to do anything with it. He can't sell it. So he's been feeding some to his his animals, and we're gonna start feeding that to our pigs. He says his two his two feeder pigs that he has, he's feeding about five gallons a day to each of them. So he's thinking, you know, we should be able to get rid of a bunch, but it's kind of wasteful, you know. But this is the way it is. You know, without, I don't know what to do. So, oh well, let's go get it. Sixteen hundred pounds of frozen goat milk. <laughs> I don't, I, I have no clue what I'm going to do with this, but I guess I'm going to feed it to the pigs. <laughs> He said he's just gonna give me pints. He said I can, since I'm getting it for nothing, I can deal with the hassle of opening pints and whatever. Free feed is free feed. It's just gonna take me some time. But let's get this unloaded. I was gonna try it with the tractor, but I know for sure old Davy Brown ain't gonna lift this 1,600 pounds. Not, not, no, no. We're just gonna hand load it so we don't have any accidents, no problems. But uh, Irvin told me that more than likely if I stack it tight and keep it, you know, just go down layer to layer, it'll keep a week or so. It'll still be frozen down on the bottom by the time I get down on the bottom. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Just stack it, stack it on a skid and use it as we go. We'll see how it goes. If it spoils, 
uh, the pigs will probably still eat it, but it is, they're not going to eat it as good, and I don't want to get them sick, so we're not. I make some motion. We're going to see how this goes. Not going to. We're not going to just figure. We're going to just see how it goes. Oh, all right. Let's unload it. I'll get you guys out of the way well there we go i'm gonna give the feeder pigs this and the breeders are gonna get this much there's 32 boxes i don't know how many how many bottle pints but this is just uh they're still gonna get the regular ration of feed i'm just gonna replace i'm, I'm just gonna give this as an added added thing they drink it they eat it good if not it was going to waste anyhow so i don't feel so bad let's open one of these up see if i can do this one handed bam okay not for human consumption well good thing i'm not a human <laughs> It's definitely frozen solid. Looks like the old uh, milk jugs at school. Mm. See if Beefy will take it. Let me turn off the fence, Beef. Hold on, buddy. Here, buddy. Want a cool snack? Want a cool snack? Here, buddy. That's a cool snack. Here. You can have it, buddy. Just show the people how good it is. Eat it, buddy. It's a cool snack on a summer day. Not really summer. Bova, not Bova. You ready for winter, buddy? Come here, Bova. Come here. I pick your nose, buddy. Don't be a dork. Come here, buddy. I'll pet you. Don't make me pull your antler. Come here, buddy. You want away from the fence? Is that what you don't like? Just for you. Oh well, everything's unloaded other than what we're going to put in our fridge for our dogs. Because we might as well feed it to the dogs. That's what it's for. Originally, anyhow. So, oh well. I gotta go. I gotta run. It's going to take me a few hours until I'm done. So, this is going to be the end of the day for me, more or less. I got truck work to do now, so <laughs> say love you, bye. See you in the wash. Keep it on the sunny side.